Medical notes this week. Can artificial intelligence read your mind? A new AI system called Semantic Decoder can translate a person's brain activity into text. Though it can't decode word for word, this non-invasive method provides a summary of the patient's thoughts. The findings from this new research, published in Nature Neuroscience, show that this technology is accurate about half of the time. So while there's still progress to be made, this is a huge step in communication technology. How moms can protect their newborn babies. Infants born via C-section aren't exposed to certain bacteria present in the vaginal canal, which increases their risk of immune and metabolic diseases. Researchers in a novel study published in mBio swabbed newborns with their mother's vaginal fluid in a process called vaginal seeding. The results show that this method safely introduces babies to maternal bacteria and strengthens their immune system. Are you doing the best exercise for your health? Research in the American Journal of Medicine breaks down the best strategy for people with type 2 diabetes. It shows that consistent aerobic exercise like cycling or walking helps manage blood glucose. Similarly, resistant movements such as weightlifting or body weight training benefits insulin sensitivity. Researchers also note that exercising later in the day is best for people with type 2 diabetes. And finally, will the rising heat wipe out our wheat crops? Scientists at Tufts University predict that extreme weather patterns could threaten grain production. The researchers say massive droughts caused by record-breaking heat may become more apparent due to climate change. If these droughts were to occur at the same time in the U.S. and China, for example, it would have disastrous consequences on global food production. These findings are published in NPJ Climate and Atmospheric Science. And that's Medical Notes this week. I'm Shel Lustig. For America's climate goals, investing in clean energy adds up. But what doesn't add up is an additionality requirement for clean hydrogen. Additionality would put an unnecessary and inequitable burden on domestic clean hydrogen producers and have serious consequences for America. America needs clean hydrogen, but an additionality requirement just doesn't add up. Get the facts at cleanhydrogentoday.org. Paid for by the Fuel Cell and Hydrogen Energy Association.